This video explains how to get the number and name of the current day of the week using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import daytime from the daytime module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next step, we need to apply the today function to return the current date as a daytime object. And I'm storing the output of the today function in a new data object that I'm calling my date. And then I'm printing this date below the code box. So as you can see, I'm recording this video at the 16th of January 2023 at 11, 12 a.m. Now let's assume that we want to get the number of the day of this daytime object. Then we can apply the weekday function, as you can see in the next line of code. And I'm storing the output of the weekday function in another data object that I'm calling my weekday one. And then I'm printing the output of this below the code box. And then you can see that the current weekday corresponds to the day number zero. And please note that the weekday function starts counting from zero. So based on this, we know that currently it is Monday. Alternatively to the weekday function, we could apply the ISO weekday function, as you can see in the next line of code. And as in the previous example, I'm storing the output of the ISO weekday function in another data object that I'm calling my weekday two. And then I'm printing this data object below the code box. And then you can see that the value one is returned. And the reason why this value is different compared to the output of the weekday function is that the ISO weekday function starts counting from one. So once again, our previous result is returned, which tells us that currently it is Monday. Alternatively to the week number, we could also return the week name, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm using the strip time function. And within the strip time function, I'm specifying percentage sign and uppercase A. And I'm storing the output of this in another data object that I'm calling my weekday three. And then I'm printing the output of this data object below the code box. And this data object contains the day Monday. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.